Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a simple, natural little look because it is summer. Um, Y'all know it is hot out there. Like it's really hot as soon as you step outside, you're sweating, okay? So I wanted to do just a little get ready with me. I'm not really going to be talking about anything today, but I just felt like I felt like recording today, y'all. Like I felt like doing a little makeup look that was super super simple and natural but it most likely won't be simple so i really don't know why i said simple but yeah um let's go ahead and just jump into the video uh after this i literally have to film a tiktok i'm gonna film a get dressed with me tiktok so if you don't follow me on there you should and if you don't follow me on instagram you also should because this outfit that i'm about to put together is a it's a vibe literally like every outfit i put together is a vibe y'all okay so yeah let's go ahead and just get started with today's video anyways i wanted to show y'all how i do my eyebrows i just got myself a new shout out to my grandma she, she she actually got me this because she went to she went to agb and i was like you know what you're already there get give me some gel okay thank you girl <laughs> um but anyways i use got to be glued gel you can use the hairspray if you like or the black got to be i use this one just because i already know how to work with this and honestly i was going to use this brush but not today because it got my dog's hair in there so let's find a different brush in my candle holder yeah so got to be glued gel i literally put like a pea size on there because that's all i ever use when i do my eyebrows and i just kind of like saturate my brush in that product and i love 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 this okay i literally have not had this product in a few weeks because i ran out and i've been using my patrick top brow gel and it's just not the same especially for hot weather you want something that is going to keep your eyebrows like on and my eyebrows are pretty like long strands of hair so if i put the brow wax on instead of this gel it like literally melts off and it just ruins my eyebrows so i use this and i'm going to really put that in the eyebrows now, I don't know about y'all, but the really full natural eyebrows are just my thing. Like, I really do enjoy full natural eyebrows. And since I have been letting my eyebrows grow out quite a bit for a few months now, I really do like the way it looks just with eyebrow gel on. But I do fill them in at the ends. So I always take a brush and I just kind of like press my hairs flat down. I don't know why, but I just feel like it just makes my eyebrows way more fuller than what they naturally are. Stock hair flying everywhere. And then I'll take the spoolie. I'll just kind of like brush the top part down. I haven't done my eyebrows in quite some time, so they're a little messy, but it's fine. So uh, next, I always like to fill in my eyebrows. Like I said, I don't really do this all the time, especially when I just want a really super natural glam. But today I do feel like my eyebrows need it just because my lighting is making me look like I have like no actual hairs on the end. So for that, I'm gonna go in with my ABH Brow Powder Duo in chocolate. And I also use the ABH um, brush, 7B brush. But y'all, so while I'm doing this, I just wanna like say this, you know what I mean? I was actually watching my own YouTube videos just because I like watching my own videos. Just It just gives me that inspiration, motivation that I need whenever I feel like lazy and I don't really wanna like get up and record or take pictures or anything like that. But I've been really wanting to do that, so. I was watching my own YouTube video the other day and then I'm like, hold up, why are there ads on my YouTube videos? Because you know YouTube has it to where you can only have ads or whatever or start getting paid from YouTube if you have like a thousand subscribers or a certain amount of views and stuff and I'm just like, if I have ads on my stuff YouTube, like you need to, you need to pay my money, okay? Like, I need it. I'm basically doing like hair like strokes in my eyebrows I like the natural effect that 
this brush gives me whenever I'm doing that. So I just kind of fill in the little sparse areas instead of like going ham and carving everything out and whatnot. That's just not a vibe, especially for this year. I feel like more of the natural looks are like coming back. You know what I mean? It's not so much full glam anymore. And that's what I like. So to be honest, when it comes to my eyebrows and stuff, I honestly don't really even like pluck them or anything anymore just because I don't really like the way it looks when I have super arched eyebrows or just like defined eyebrows or anything like that. It's just not, it's just not for me. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Bliss Bright Idea Vitamin C and Tripeptide. Um, it is collagen protecting and brightening moisturizer. I got this from Walmart and I just, I don't know, I seen it in there like a few months ago and I bought it and I still have quite a bit and I use this like every day or every other day. And I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face. Like I always say in almost every video, if you are new here, then you don't know, but I have extremely dry skin, y'all. Not really lately because it's been so, um, Hot and everything else on but like I have been having really dry skin for a very long time so I do like to moisturize heavily so I'm not really gonna do eyes right now I'm gonna be doing face so I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray y'all this spray is absolutely amazing I love the way it sprays and I just let that dry down a little bit okay, so for today's foundation for today's face I'm gonna be using this makeup forever reboot re <laughs> this makeup forever reboot foundation I'm in the shade y434 Now this foundation is not full coverage to be honest it's probably like sheer to medium coverage i personally like that um i don't really wear foundation on an everyday basis or whatever but whenever i do go out somewhere and i really don't want to spend all my time like an hour or whatever doing my makeup or something then i will just like spot foundation with this um to me this is almost like a what is it called when it's like a moisturizer but it's foundation at the same time y'all know what i'm talking about i don't know what it's called right now but it kind of reminds me of that because y'all have the money to be going out there and buying that type of stuff so we're gonna use this and this should match me pretty well because i did go on vacation about three weeks ago and y'all i got a little dark a little tan and i really don't have the foundation that matches me at the moment so if i look a little pale on the face that's just how it is for right now okay i'm gonna take a brush just because i feel like a brush always does the job, especially for like a um, sheer foundation, you want it to look very skin-like and not so much caked on, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take this brush and I really do love this foundation. And you just wanna kind of like just pounce it through and just spread it in a way. If you feel like it's not so much blended out, you can always go back in with your e-blender. However, I like to take a brush. However, I like to take a brush just because, like, look at me. I feel like I feel like a really big, like a beauty YouTuber right now. I'm telling y'all all this stuff. Um, but anyways, yeah, I like to, y'all, I put a face mask on and it's sticking right here into my neck. It's all good though. I like to take a brush, especially like a foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I use this mainly for my um, cream blushes and stuff, but like, I don't know. Um, and I like to just disperse that all over the face. Look at how it gives you like that really nice sheen to the face. Like if y'all are those natural queens where y'all just like that and y'all don't want to set or anything, then go ahead and do that. I y'all I gotta set because y'all I get a little oily around the nose area. So yeah. So I think that looks good. I'm gonna go in with the beauty burger just to make sure that it's all nicely dispersed evenly onto the face. 
So I feel like I have not actually sat down in a while and did like a real makeup tutorial. Like I feel like I really am doing a makeup tutorial. I don't know if you guys like to see that type of stuff or whatever. I am going to show you all the outfit that I'm going to be wearing um, after this. To be honest, I'm not going anywhere, y'all. Like, I never go anywhere, to be honest. Um, it's just me having fun and just getting dressed up for no reason. Doing TikTok and all that. Next, I am going to go in with two concealers. Um, I need some more of this concealer. This is my... I was going to say Too Faced, uh, e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. I love this concealer so, so much. Very inexpensive, very affordable, y'all. If y'all want to purchase makeup, you know, like first-time makeup buyers, y'all need to get this concealer, okay? I really do love this shade because it's a bit more peachier. I have, like, this bump right here that I don't know what that is. And I just like to place it in the inner and outer parts especially when i feel like my under eyes are a little darker so i'm going to sleep late y'all i've been watching that manifest y'all haven't seen manifest on netflix y'all need to see it because it is that good me and my boyfriend have literally been watching that like every single night and i know my cousin she barely started it a few days ago the girls are already on season two that is how good it is okay now i'm going to go in with um my pat mcgrath labs concealer now, if y'all don't have this concealer, y'all need to get this concealer. This concealer is absolutely amazing, especially for summertime. And y'all want, you know, y'all want a little spot concealer or whatever, or y'all want some full coverage under eyes, then go ahead and get this concealer. Pat McGrath, you did it with this concealer, okay? This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer in LM14. I'm LM14. I can go a little darker oop, with this concealer if I wanted to, but just to brighten, as y'all can tell, it's a little brighter. I like to use this one and I think that's all I'm gonna do with that just because I really don't want to make it super bright. I'm gonna go back in with this concealer here, the e.l.f. concealer. And since that foundation isn't super full coverage, I'm just going to dot that in the places where I feel like I need it the most. So I'm gonna go in with my dirty bleep. I'm gonna go in with my dirty beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend it out. As y'all can tell, I'm not really putting any on my lids, and that's just because I really don't like the way it looks when you're going for a natural look and you put concealer on the lids. It just makes it look very blank and you just like you have literally like no color to the to the skin or the eyes whatsoever. So I don't really put none on there. And that just brightened it up really, really nicely. And that elf one is just going to allow it to kind of just color correct those areas. Like I have a little discoloration and it looks like a grayish green around my mouth area. And that's why I love to put concealer on the corners. It also helps lift the face as this side looks a little more rounder. This side looks a little more lifted because I put that concealer there. I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Cream Blush, Liquid Blush. It's a liquid blush, y'all. In the shade Joy. This is like a very corally, pinky toned. I don't know if y'all can see that. It looks a little more brighter in person, if that makes sense. I haven't really been using this lately just because I don't really know how to play with it, y'all. Like, I'm afraid that when I use it, it's gonna mess up my foundation underneath. So, this is my second time using this blush. And I'm kind of just, oof, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, it's really bright. I feel like it's a very full coverage blush. Like, it's not so much um sheer you know what i mean it really just look at that oh my god i look really blushy really pink okay let's just hope that this you know blends out way more it looks really pretty i really have to say that it looks really pretty um i like the color it's just really in your face 
Okay, so to set, I always use Pat McGrath, um, the Pat McGrath Light Medium 2 Perfection Setting Powder. It's really good, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna use my little powder puff for that too. So, y'all, I have literally been working out like nonstop. Not really like nonstop or whatever. Like, I work out almost every single day if I can. Just because, I don't know, I have, like a, I have a goal to reach, y'all, okay? I have a goal to reach. And even though I've only lost, which I'm not really saying I've only lost 20 pounds, like, dang, I only lost 20 pounds, but, like, I've lost 20 pounds so far. And I haven't really lost anything else. But my body is seriously changing. I can see it changing. I do take before and after pictures and stuff. And even though the scale hasn't changed, my body has. And I feel really strong, like literally. I can't lie though, two weeks ago when I was in the gym working out, I wasn't lifting heavy whatsoever, but I just wasn't focusing. And I literally, I hurt my back bad. Like I was out for about two weeks and I just started going back last week, I believe. And I'm also doing the, um, that treadmill 12 330 the uh, trendy one like the one that you see on tiktok and stuff i've been doing that also and that's been really defining my stomach and whatnot so yeah i've been liking that too so now we're gonna go in we're gonna bronze the face and i've been using my fancy bronzer just because i've gotten way more tan and this is the one in island tea I'm gonna take my brush, my Morphe M530. I've been liking this to like really define it because I feel like this is a little more of a cooler tone than my MAC one. My MAC one is like an all over bronzer and this one's like more of like a bronzy contour. So I've tried to just deepen this part right here just a little bit, the cheeks and whatnot, and just keep it focused mainly in this area and bring it up. So then you're able to lift the face. And with the bigger brush, I feel like when you do a bigger, bigger brush, the one that I've always, always used, um, this big face brush here for my MAC one, when I use that one, it's just like a all over bronze. But I really do want to snatch the face with this. And this looks really, really natural. Now, if you have a heavy hand, and then obviously it is going to look more like a contour like you want it to really extremely bronze up but today since we're going for more of a natural glow you know what i mean like we're going to brunch with the girls but like y'all i don't really have friends <laughs> um we're going to brunch with the with your man you know what i mean we'll get some little waffles or whatever this is for you and always, I always take whatever's left and I just bronze the neck, y'all. You do not want your neck and, you know, you just want to like bronze or contour the parts of your face that are shadowed. So you see I have a shadow down here. Okay, so now, I have all my stuff right here, by the way. Now I'm going to take my MAC bronzer and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. This is an all over face powder, I believe, but I've always used it as a bronzer. Y'all know that. And today I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm just gonna go right on top. So then that other bronzer just kind of gets diffused. It's not really just sitting there in one spot. It looks really natural and just blended. And I also love to put the rest on my face like i said i got tan from my vacation so i do not like when my under you know right there is like really white we're gonna use a little blush today and i've been really feeling this blush right here by patrick tall it's in the shade do we know her and it matches that coral blush from Rare beauty so that's why i'm just gonna go ahead and put that on You always want to tap and when you're going for a natural look 
I feel like you always want to bring it up and not just so so much place. When you're going for a natural look, you also want to go for blushes that look really natural, just so it kind of looks like you're, you know, in the heat a little bit and like your face is a little flushed. You know what I mean? Not only that though, I'm gonna go back to an oldie but goodie. If y'all don't know, if y'all have not been watching me for that long, you'll go back a little bit, like go back to my like, my first videos, then y'all know that this Cover FX um, blush in the, it's the Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte Shimmer and Warm Honey. Y'all, I've, I've had this for a very, very long time. This was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite blushes of all time. And you know how it goes, like you get through stuff and then you don't use it but i'm gonna use this shade right here this um shimmery side here it's not it's not shimmery y'all it's like a little glisten and i'm gonna be putting that on this artist couture ac03 brush super cute fluffy brush and i'm gonna be putting that on the apples and just bringing it up i love the way that this personally looks on top of another blush or if you do get this um duo it's really nice on top of the actual blush that it comes with oops this one right here but since i wanted it to look a little more corally toned i'm just gonna use the shimmer side and i love just the sheen that it gives like if y'all don't like wearing highlighters i personally do not like wearing highlighters i do from time to time when i feel like it but lately i haven't and i just realized that i completely forgot a product that I was supposed to use, but I didn't use it. So maybe I'll use that in another video. Okay, so and now for eyes, because we're basically already done with the face. This is how I do face. But let me contour my nose because I forgot. I don't really contour my nose when I do um, like a natural face like this. Like uh, when you're on the go face, I feel like this is. Um, just because it takes quite some time but today I'll do it just for, just because like my nose looks really wide on the bottom. So now I'm just gonna take whatever is left on the brush and I'm going to put some of that in the crease and blend it up. The reason why I'm using a bronzer is because you just want it to look super natural and seamless not so much as if you know like you actually tried but you know you, you tried you know what i mean but like you don't want it to look like you spent two hours on your makeup and now you're going outside to like melt you know what i mean so i love to use the bronzer that i use on my face and i always bring it up and out so it just helps lift the eyes and i don't really go precise with this Try to just keep it exactly where the shadows of the eyes are. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I go out anywhere, I don't really care if I have a matte eye or a shimmery eye, but I've been really liking shimmer on the eyes just because it really does bring it out. I mean, you don't want it to look like you're wearing makeup, but you are wearing makeup. So if you want to add a little shimmer on there, then you can if you feel like it, if you have time to do that. Um, Obviously, I have time because it's just for fun. Um, I'm going to go in with my Makeup by Mario palette, the Master Metallics. And I think I'm going to use the shade number Metallic 7. And it is this really, really beautiful bronzy shade. Now, I love, love, love bronzy looks. It's my go-to. And you just kind of want to use whatever is on your finger. You don't really want to like keep on picking up on that shade just because... You know, like you want this to look super natural, not so much very blinged out or glam on the eyes and then your face is just kind of like, you know, but I love, love, love to add this. Next lip liner is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. I've been really feeling this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 Medium and I don't know why, but I've just been feeling this one. Okay. And I literally put that all on the lips and I blend it into the cork lip liner. 
y'all may or may not be able to see this and it's just because um this actually blends into my actual lip color and i'm gonna be taking this um fenty beauty lip gloss in with gloss balm in the shade ruby milk oh my god it's so good i'm just gonna put that on in the middle Just because I want my lips to look really, really natural. The makeup look is literally already done. This is how it looks. Super, I'm telling y'all, like this is like super simple, super natural to be honest. This took me an hour, but if I were to not be filming or anything and not talking to the camera or anything like that, just like in my zone doing my makeup, then it would have just took me like 30 minutes tops. But I was filming it, so it took me a while. And this is how it looks, super glowy and dewy. I am seriously in love with this. Let me know if y'all tried this look out. Let me know if y'all like it, like videos like this. Obviously, I'm gonna show y'all my outfit that I'm about to wear. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok because on there, I'm gonna be giving y'all the full on details of what my outfit is and whatnot. But let's go ahead and just jump into the outfit and then that is it. Okay, so hopefully the lighting is okay from here because honestly, I, I can't see that far. So yeah, um, here is the outfit that I'm going to be getting dressed in on TikTok, which if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. I'll have it on the screen and I'll also have my username down below on TikTok, obviously. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram too. Mm -hmm. Follow me, okay. But anyways. Um, I literally just have this like it's really cute linen shirt. Um, I don't know where I got it from So yeah, but I'm You know, I'll tell y'all on TikTok. So Go and look on there and then I have these cute distressed black denim shorts. They are denim They don't look like denim from far away, but they are um, and I just wanted it to be like super like a very classy but still like you know you're going out somewhere type of vibe like i didn't want to look super duper dressed up um i would consider this like a brunch look or maybe even um like if you're going out for drinks or something you know super cute super casual and then i paired it with these black mules would you would you say that they're mules or would you say that they're like sandals with a little heel on them they're heels whatever and i got these for sure from pretty little thing they're very cute not so comfortable to be honest because of the actual straps on them kind of hurt so yeah this is the finished look hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe right down below okay and share if you can share please um and i will see you guys on the next video so bye y'all